On my podcast, From John to Justin, I cover the lives of every single Prime Minister in Canadian history, as well as every election, every opposition leader, and currently, every Governor's General. So I'm doing a series on TikTok where I rank every single Prime Minister from the worst to the best in Canadian history. And today we're on number 18, Sir John Abbott. Now, Sir John Abbott had a long career in politics. He was elected to the House of Commons in 1867, serving until the 1870s, and then he would eventually be put into the Senate, where he would become the leader of the Senate. But in 1891, Sir John A. Macdonald died, and that would cause a bit of a crisis in Canada, as he was the Prime Minister and had been for some time. Originally, it was believed that Sir John Thompson would become the new Prime Minister, but the issue with that was he was Catholic, so Sir John Abbott was chosen. Now, Sir John Abbott always saw himself as more of a caretaker Prime Minister. He was not in it for the long haul. In fact, he tried to actually get Sir John Thompson to become the Prime Minister a year into his term, but that was again turned down because Thompson was Catholic. Nonetheless, Sir John Abbott, serving from 1891 to 1892, was actually a somewhat effective Prime Minister, even though he didn't really want the job. He was able to reorganize the party, reorganize the government a bit, put in some changes to the criminal code, in 52 by-elections in his last year in office, the majority were actually won by the Conservatives, raising their seat count by 13, which shows just how effective he was as a leader of the party. But unfortunately, he was very ill of health and he was suffering from brain cancer. He would retire from being the Prime Minister in 1892, succeeded by Sir John Thompson, and sadly would pass away one year later. So I've actually looked at all of the Prime Ministers who followed Sir John A. Macdonald, up until the point of Sir Wilfrid Laurier, so that covers from 1891 until 1896. And all of them have been in the bottom. But Sir John Abbott, among all of them, was probably the best and the most capable. And that's why he ranks in at number 18. Now, I put him at 18, but my Twitter followers chose R.B. Bennett for the 18th Prime Minister. Now, I didn't choose R.B. Bennett, obviously. He's a bit higher for me. So we'll see where he stands as we go onwards to find out who was the best Prime Minister in Canadian history. And as always, if you have any questions, just ask. And if you have any comments, let me know and I'll respond.